Jordy and Dan here and welcome to our Kiwi Can channel and our first Kiwi Can lesson online. And we are so excited that we are still able to give you Kiwi Can lessons from your very own home. As you know, each term we like to say hello in a different language. So this term we're going to use sign language. It looks like this. Hello. How are you? So before we get started, I'm going to show you some different ways you can reply to us every single time. Excited. Happy. Or you can just say, good. Let's try that now. Last term we were learning all about respect. What does respect mean? Respect means treating people, places and things as important. I want you to have a think about how you have shown respect to the people in your bubble over the past few weeks. I've been working hard around my home, showing perseverance while fixing up our garden and respectfully communicating with the friends that I live with. Some of the ways that I have been showing respect around my house are helping out with jobs around the home and also playing cards with my brothers nicely. Resilience. Now resilience means coping with challenges and bouncing back. And an easy way that you can remember that is we like to say, try, try again. Let's try that all together now. Try, try, try again. again. To help us try, try again and never give up, we need to practice being calm. Things are a little bit different with us all being at home at the moment. So now is the perfect time for us to practice our resilience. And lastly, we have a new catchphrase for this term, so repeat after me. Calm the farm and carry on. Let's try that all together now. Calm the, Calm farm, the farm and carry, and carry, on. carry on. Now in today's Energizer, we're going to get our brains warmed up. Now that means you're going to have to do two different things at the same time. And how we're going to start it is we're going to teach you four moves. Now Geordie over there is going to do them really slowly at first and you need to make sure that you follow along and then we're going to jam them all together and speed it up a little bit. Salute to the sun. Move your legs from side to side and at the same time bring your arms together towards the sky. Thumbs up squat. As you go down and do a squat, make a figure eight with one of your hands. Then do the same with your other hand. Brain touch. Turn around while gently patting your head. Elbow to knee. Bring one knee off the ground and towards your opposite elbow. And then swap and do the other side. When we are showing resilience, we are staying calm and keeping our bodies in the green zone. I want you to imagine this. You are building a cool tower out of Lego and it keeps falling apart and is taking a long time to complete. If you got upset and frustrated, would this help you to finish the Lego creation? Have a think about how you could get into the green zone. Take a deep breath. Calm the farm and carry on. When we have our calm brains, it can help us to make better decisions and help us to try, try again. Have a good think about some of the things that you find challenging. Some of the things that I find challenging is learning something new, swimming, or not eating all of mum's baking right after she's done it. Now 
This activity is called beanbag target. Shortly we are going to go and make a target and find something to throw. Don't worry, we have plenty of different ideas that you can use while you're at home. To make a target, you can use clothes, lay your clothes out to make a circle shape, a washing basket, a big plastic bowl, a cardboard box, a hula hoop, or make a circle out of blocks. What you can use to throw, a soft toy, a little ball, a toilet paper roll, a pair of socks folded together, a small pillow or cushion, or screwed up newspaper. Okay, pause the video right here and go get what you need. Awesome, welcome back. Now that you're all set up, let's get into this activity. Okay team, once you have your preferred throwing item and your target all set up, here's what I want you to do. Stand behind your target, maybe about start with two feet, and then you're going to take your shot, and hopefully we're going to get it in. If you get it in, what you could do is take two steps back, and then try again. Keep moving backwards, and then once you eventually miss our target, here are a few things you could do. If you're struggling and you keep missing it, take a deep breath. Remember, we're going to calm the farm and carry on. When taking deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's practice doing three big deep breaths together now. Once we're nice and calm, take a few more steps back, try it again, maybe even try it three or four times in the same spot, and then that way you know you're going to be an expert. Awesome team. Once you get the hang of that, have a go at some trick shots, and then send them in to us and let us know how you did. Definitely let us know how you felt when you kept missing that target, and then maybe you felt a little bit different after you had those deep breaths and just kept trying. Because once you finally get it in, you know you're going to feel... Real good. Cool beans, team. Last thing from me on this activity, make sure you challenge yourself. If it's too easy, you're not having to show much resilience. So what you want to do is make it hard for yourself, and then when you complete it, you're going to feel even better. GKQs. For our GKQs, we're going to have some multiple choice questions for you to try and answer. Have a look at the questions and the answers on the screen and see if you can find the right answer. The answers are going to be in the description box below, so check after you've watched the video and see how many you got right. Which of the following animals have feathers? A. Chickens and ducks B. Dogs and bears or C. Fish and cats Which of the following animals have paws? A. Ducks and birds B. Dogs and bears C. Kiwis and zebras Which of the following animals have scales? A. Pig and cat B. Rabbit and dolphins or C. Snake and lizards And our last GKQ of the day, what kind of brain helps us to never give up and carry on with tricky things? Is it A, a busy brain, B, an angry brain, or C, a calm brain? Ka pai tamariki. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you've had a fun time. Geordie and I would love to see you guys completing our lesson. So what you could do is get an adult to take a picture for you and then send it to our email which is in the description below and we would love to see your awesome targets and the things that you've done. Remember team, a calm brain helps us to carry on and try try again. Now remember our catchphrase, calm the farm and carry on. See you next time. Kaki te.